uh, another specimen of the cerebellum. Here we're taking the cut one. This is the cerebellar hemisphere and the vermis. Uh, one of the cerebellar hemisphere. This is the superior surface, which is sloping one, while the inferior surface is convex. Here, the interior, where the peduncles and the tonsil found. And this is the posterior one. From interior, this is the arpa vti, which is the white matter. And here, the gray matter of the cerebellum. Here, the superior vermis. And this is the inferior vermis in the center starting anteriorly goes posteriorly and then to the anterior. Here, the middle cerebellar peduncle, middle cerebellar peduncle, the inferior cerebellar peduncle, and the superior cerebellar peduncle. Here, the fossa for the fourth ventricle, okay? Goes more anteriorly. Here, the area is the central lobule and the ella of the central lobule. More projecting here area is the colmen. The colmen, this area, is the anterior loop of the cerebellum. Posterior to it, this is the primary fissure. Here, the primary fissure. All of this part of the cerebellum, the remaining, is the posterior loop. This is the posterior loop, while only this is the anterior loop. Okay? This area here, from this to this, is the decleave, decleave of the vermis here, the decleave. While this is the simplex lobule, more posteriorly from this side to the horizontal fissure is the folium. And this one is the uh, superior semilunar lobule. A semilunar lobule like uh, uh, moon, okay? Like the moon. More posteriorly, this is the horizontal fissure, okay? And this is the tuber, tuber corresponding to the inferior semilunar lobule. This is the inferior semilunar lobule. This fissure is the prepyramidal fissure, here, the prepyramidal fissure. And this is the pyramid of the vermis, here, from this side. To this side. Okay, this is the pyramidal uh, of the vermis. Here, corresponding to the pyramid, this larger one, posterior to tonsil, is the uh, uh, biventral lobule. Okay, this area is the biventral lobule of the cerebellum. Goes more anteriorly, this area that is uh, opposite to the tonsil laterally is the uvula, while this area is the tonsil. Retrotonsillar fissure here exactly, here. Retrotonsillar fissure, here. Retrotonsillar fissure, just posterior and surrounding the tonsil, okay? This is the tonsil, this is the retrotonsillar fissure, this is the uvula. Now, this area is the nodule nodule together with the flocculus forming the flocculonodular lobule. Okay, this is the nodule together with the flocculus. Here, the superolateral fissure. And goes another for the anterior, uh, superior surface. Here, the anterior lobule, primary fissure, and middle cerebellar peduncle. The arteries of the cerebellum, we having superior cerebellar artery, superior cerebellar artery, and inferiorly, we have two arteries, the inferior posterior cerebellar artery, PK, posterior inferior cerebellar artery, and the anterior uh, inferior cerebellar artery, this one, anterior uh, inferior cerebellar artery, PK, and the PK, and this is the superior cerebellar artery. That's